Welcome to watching this video. In this video, I will share with you more about the WeChat official accounts. And thank you for watching this video and thank you for coming to our YouTube channel. If you like our video, please subscribe to our channel and you will receive a lot more useful information when we update the new video. Over 980 million users worldwide. Up to 90% of Malaysia's smartphone users use the and register its mobile social communication application WeChat. There's 9.5 million monthly active official accounts and 797 million active users of official accounts. The WeChat official accounts is applicable for various business types such as associations, beauty and healthcare, car dealers, education, beach trainer schools, entertainment industry, financial consultants, hotels, hypermarket minimart, pharmacy, property agency, restaurants, weddings, photo studio, and retail SME businesses. So what is the difference between the subscription and account and the service accounts? In the subscription account and service account, there is only two differences. Let me put it into a summary in the next slide. Yeah, this is a screen of your widget applications. Do you notice the blue button is a subscription? Yeah, this is a subscription button. If your account is under the subscription account, it will appear inside this button. And the user must click into this button in order to read the message. And if your account is a service account, it will appear in the widget chatting list. So, whenever you send a broadcast message in your service account, it will appear on top of your list and your members will read it. And the second difference between the subscription account and the service account is the number of messages you can send. Subscription account allow you to send one message every day. And the service account is only allow you to send four messages one month. And this is the layout for your official account. No matter you are using an official account or service account, the layout is a similarity. In a WeChat account, it allows you to set the customized menu. So, it looks like a website. You can have a lot of uh, different menu for your web in your website. And in the WeChat, you can also have a similarity and you can have many menus in your WeChat account. And the user can when come to your WeChat, they can browse the items easily. In the WeChat account, also allow you to set the auto replies. So this is a great idea if you use a WeChat service account or official account for your customer service. The auto reply can set in the admin, and this is very easy to use. In the WeChat account, allow you to set send different types of media to your members. You can create messages, you can send audio, you can also send the pictures. And you can also send to a specific type of user. Say for example, if you have a lot of members in your WeChat accounts and you want to send to uh, the message to females or maybe to males or maybe you want to send to someone who loves uh, Fanali, you can just tag them and you can easily find them out and send the message to the particular user groups in the future. Let me put it in the file for summary. In the WeChat official account and WeChat subscription account, allow you to do the broadcast messaging, auto reply, menu, follower management, content management, direct messaging, and you can also analyze your user and the statistics. Thank you.